we all have become extremely tired of Hollywood, and the numbers reflect that. We are continuously being gaslit as the audience into believing that the reasons why any TV show or movie fails is not because it's crap, but because we as the audience are extremely racist or misogynist. I would say, come along for the ride. An immense amount of visual representation and um, a vast accessibility for every single person in the world um, to be able to stare at a screen and see a version of themselves staring right back at them. So for us to play with each other as we play together in the world every single yeah. day is um, you know, is exactly where it should be and uh, what a great way to um, relive Tolkien's work. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937, and we absolutely wrote a Snow White. Prince. She's not going to be safe with the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. This represents progression. This represents an acknowledgement of where we have been and um, a will to get to where we need to be in order for this to be accessible to everyone. I truly don't know for how long this can go on. I mean, I know Hollywood is into the business of entertaining, but it is in the end just that, a business. And if it's not making money, then they are going to have to change things around. I just don't know when the hell they are going to change. I'm still waiting. Because year after year, they just keep releasing crap that literally nobody wants to watch. Just flop after flop, wasting millions upon millions of dollars like there is no tomorrow. The Acolyte spent $22.5 million per episode, totaling $180 million for the entire season. Yet, this is what we got. All living things are connected by the same thread. Some call it a force and claim to use it. But we know the thread is not a power you wield. Be silent. Give your full tongue behind your teeth. The accolade was watched by one or by two and despised by many. And rightfully so, it has been canceled. <laughs> but I just started to watch Chaos, a new Netflix show about Greek gods. Do you remember Theseus? Probably not, but he was a Greek hero that killed the Minotaur. This is how he was described. Theseus is described as a handsome, strong and adventurous young man with dark blonde hair and dark eyes. This is what the show Chaos portrays him as. Shut up. Sorry. Oh, I like it. You ready? Uh, I think so. They are cowards! <laughs> they hide behind their masks! They are human! And they bleed like you and I! Stand your mouth! Fight for honor! Fight for your children! Fight for your future! Fight! Immortality! Again, we are all extremely tired of this. Now, I don't have anything against minority characters being played in movie or TV roles, but if something has already been explained in writing and depicted somewhat faithfully in other TV shows or movies, you can't just come and erase that and replace it with your own version of modern, politically correct versions of that character because you know better than everybody else as a screenwriter. If you know better than everybody else as a screenwriter, then go and write your own fantasy about minority cultures, but don't butcher the ones that have already been literally set in stone. The worst of these examples, I think we could all agree, is Rings of Power Season 2. Despite losing more than 60% of viewers by the end of first season, you would think they would change course, 
change things around, make the audience that wants to watch the show happy instead of angry. But no, instead of changing course and correcting the wrongs, insulting, by the way, one of the most passionate fandoms ever to exist, they chose to double down on the political correctness and change absolutely nothing, if ever, just making things way, way worse. Orcs are now depicted as loving husbands and protective fathers who don't want to go to war. What even is this show? I saw this. This is a real scene in an unfortunately very real show. We are safe here. We have a home. Must we go to war again? Trust me, my son, when I tell you that we will never truly be safe until we've made certain Sauron is no more. As you will it, Lord Father. You should now feel empathy for orcs. They just want to live their lives in peace with their wife and kids and not go to war. You should really, really feel sorry for them. Galadriel still can fight better than any man, elf, dwarf or orc because you know girls get it done. And the hobbits, which were depicted as a very homogenous society, now look like this. We are extremely tired of this. Numbers reflected and we now aren't afraid to speak about this as we once were. Hollywood, I implore you, please go back to making movies and TV shows that people want and like. I don't care who the main character is. I don't care what they have between their legs, who they sleep with and what they look like. What I do care about is the quality of your movie or TV show. What I do care about is that if you are making a movie or TV show about a book, mythology or historical event, is that you stay faithful to the book, the mythology or the historical event. The end of their hubris begins when we realize we have the power to make them change course. When we realize that if we don't watch the crap they are trying to force us to watch, when we don't accept the premise that the only reason these TV shows and movies perform horribly is because we are a racist and misogynist society, we will realize we hold the power for them to have to change course. The Acolyte was cancelled thanks to you and me that didn't watch it. Rings of Power will have to be next. Snow White seems to be on that direction. If we don't just mindlessly accept the crap they are trying to force down our throats, in due time, they will have no other option than to return to great entertainment. They once did it, so I'm sure they could do it again. But it depends on you and me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And like always, see you in the next one.